Our story starts in the fall of 2020. The first downsize was to go from this 2,600 square foot home to a 1,200 square foot rental. Unfortunately, we shot this two years ago before we upgraded our audio equipment and the audio was really inferior. However, Patricia still looks cute, so I decided to keep the clip. Basically, she is just coming in and giving an intro to the house. Uh, in order to sell the house, we had to do a lot of work. We uh, painted all the walls, all the trim, including the ceilings. And we just wanted you to get kind of an idea of how much space we were coming from to get to where we are now. All of this space was furnished and decorated. And so the first process was to get rid of what would not fit in the initial downsizing. We felt that by doing this in steps, it was gonna be easier for us to do because there is some resistance to getting rid of everything you own. Selling the house also reduced our financial footprint. Remember, the total goal here is to get smaller. Smaller in less possessions, smaller in less obligations, and to make your money go further. Yeah, this is, uh, this is my kitchen that will be missed. Yeah, I'm already missing the kitchen. I'm missing this quiet dishwasher. I didn't even know that thing was running. Yeah. So this is all the space we got. And if you want to live on a boat like we do, then you got to downsize. So this, this kind of gives you an idea of where we're coming from. This is our, this is our downsize house. So the next step was to move into this smaller rental house, about half the size of our original house. We ended up living there for two years while we waited on Cavu to arrive and to get outfitted. There it is, all our pots and pans waiting for pickup. Pretty much been clustering things together that uh, we can sell has a lot online. If you can't make at least 20 bucks off something, it's not worth the hassle of selling online. We've been using Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp. We found that placing the ads on Thursday afternoons had the best results. Just make sure you price it to sell and everything will move. Okay, I admit I might have a hanger problem, but this is what happens when you go from three walk-in closets to two regular closet to only two hanging lockers on a cell way to get rid of things is leaving things by the curb got two stools out there put them out there before i make my good wheel run see if anybody bites on those okay the stools are gone to a friendly neighbor okay, in the back seat of my pickup truck i have the items that didn't sell and items we didn't want to keep and I'm heading to the Goodwill Donation Center. There it is. Goodwill Donation Center. Time for the last drop. Well, it's, it's all gone. It's been our home for two years and now it's empty. Moving on. Let's see how big it was. This is our bedroom. Dave's room. Yep, 
It's empty. Okay, confession time. Uh, we had to get a storage unit. <laughs> Turns out we couldn't get quite small enough quick enough. So this is the remainder of stuff we couldn't fit on the boat. Still need to sell. Or either it's like family heirlooms we can't get rid of. But this is going to have to be gone by the time we leave. You think we can get it gone by the time we leave after we're done with all our boat projects? Yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah. Well, this is the end of it. Last bag. Officially moved aboard Cavu. Right, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. How about just on top of all these other bags I have right there? Whew. Whew. It's been a challenge, y'all. Downsized into this 44 foot mono haul. Started off in a 2,600 square foot house, then a 1,200 square foot rental house, and now a 44 foot sailboat. Got rid of a lot of stuff, but still need to get rid of more things. Example A, look at my closet. This is embarrassing. It is busting at the seams. I have so much clothes still that Dave had to um, move to the other room. Well, he's closed it, not him. Anyways, it's a work in progress. Well, we'll get there. And as you can see, all the side of the bed is packed. That's Dave's side. He's not too bad. And, uh... I'm actually pretty impressed with how much I downsized my bathroom stuff. Like, all this is pretty organized. Compared to what I went from. And then this I'm pretty proud of. I was afraid it was going to get wet at first, but it hasn't. So, it's working out pretty well. Okay, let's move on to the uh, salon. See how it's going in there. Definitely not secure to sale like this. We have our three glass items we actually kept. Our wine decanter and two very important Durban glasses. But um, yeah, we gotta find a good home for those. Uh, somewhere on the boat and way too many puzzles and uh, yeah even like the bilges are pretty full there's food in there food in there can't put anything in here because that's where the actual pump is uh, but then look at look we had to actually put food in with the wine look at all that there's no other space for it. And uh, let's step over to the galley here. As you can see, one of our most treasured position, our Mealy coffee maker, is taking up uh, a large majority of the counter space. Taking up a third of the counter space. <laughs> a third of the counter space. And then our induction stovetop, which is really nice. Not having to use gas all the time, but that also taking up some space. Uh, 
like so. Every nook and cranny pretty much is full in the galley. You had to get creative with the towel using a gear tie. Hold the towel up. Show them your uh, pantry. Oh, the pantry, yes. I'm proud of this too. I feel like I need to start cooking on the boat more. So it's all organized and there's stuff underneath. Yep. Labels. Like stacked. Everything stacks nicely. Yeah. So we're getting here. Oh, and then this is where Dave had to put his clothes in here. He's got a closet, and he actually hangs some of his stuff. Um, and then, if you notice, half the bed's missing. Because we had to take out half this bed to make room for more storage Milwaukee packouts. And this is actually Dave's wardrobe in here, too. He might have too much clothes, too, but not as bad as me. And then let's see, we got some kitchen overflow in that one, first aid, some odds and ends. Every nook and cranny full. <laughs> yeah, we got too much stuff. We, we still have to pare down more. I had no idea it was going to be this hard to move onto a boat. It's supposed to be easy. No one tells you how hard it is. Everybody told us how hard it is. No, I don't remember this. I don't remember everyone telling us it would be hard. I thought it was supposed to be like um, sunsets and pina coladas. All right, show them the uh, garage. Okay, now moving on to the garage or uh, Amber's room. So, as you can see, it's packed out with Milwaukee packouts and kitty litter box, cat food and water, yeah, pillows. <laughs> we definitely need to get a little bit more organized and uh, figure out what we need and don't need. Oh, and then the fridge is packed full. We're going to have to limit the amount of drinks we actually keep in the fridge on a regular basis. Freezer packed full. I don't know how we're going to cross the Pacific. I, I, I don't know how we're going to do it. Where are we going to put this stuff? We need a bigger boat? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least there's still a few free bilges. Um, there's nothing in these bilges back here yet, so that's probably going to be food storage when we, um, set sail for the long trips. It has taken us two years to get to this point, but Cavu is now our home. Downsizing was a struggle, but being minimalistic is what will get us to our goal. Be sure to like and subscribe as we get closer to casting off the dock lines and going on the great adventure.